All right, these are all the ingredients that we need for Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. Um, it's kind of a meme recipe, but I wanted to try it and document my efforts. I know the ingredients look crazy because they are, and it's reportedly one of the most disgusting things you can make, but I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna actually give my honest opinion about what it tastes like. I've seen some meme videos out there where people don't even really give it a chance, they just kind of like quickly shove it in their mouth and then spit it back out again and talk about how disgusting it is, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. And I realized that I forgot the nuts, so I had to go back and get those. My cat just vomited and I haven't even finished making it yet. Just put all your dry ingredients together because they're all gonna go in at the same time. All right, you got your crushed pineapple. Like so. Into the pan it goes. This is the secret ingredient here. We gotta put both these packets of jello into there, into the pan. Just gotta mix that in. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be nasty. Actually, this might be the secret ingredient for a really healthy snack. You gotta chop up this cream cheese, of course. I feel like that one cooking with hoarders guy that has to like hold the camera while he does things. The reason my stove is yellow is because I tried to paint it one time. It's actually black underneath, which is why it looks so nasty, but it's actually just the paint coming off because <laughs> it didn't work out too well. Um, but yeah, you gotta add in these bits of cream cheese like so. At least, and right, we gotta kind of mix them in here and wait till it's all melted down. We're using the uh, lemon jello because that's what the guy used in the video when he showed us how to make it. Um, I've seen other people use lime, but honestly, the green looks just makes it look even worse than it <laughs> already looks after it comes out. Like it makes it look like the stuff that the goblins from uh, Troll Two would eat or something. <laughs> So I'm gonna go with the uh, lemon from the original video. Gotta give it a fair try. Kinda takes a while to get melted down. It doesn't actually smell too bad as of yet. I'm guessing it's going to. And this is actually taking <laughs> a lot longer than I thought. I think we're about there. And yes, I did use engine paint for the oven. Uh, so, you know, it's not like melting fumes or anything into the air, something like that. Um, it was just years ago, so it's just chipping off. I should just get some, I should just get some paint remover and just get rid of it. So it's just it's black again. In go the bell peppers, celery, and nuts. And I'm using pecans because that's what he used in his video. So those go in. Probably the worst ingredient uh, for some ungodly reason, mementos. So, I'm gonna dump those in. And then you just, just mix that together. Doesn't that look awful? That looks terrible. It looks really terrible. Now, an entire tub of Cool Whip. This is actually what the recipe calls for, by the way. Ah, come on, come out of there. There we go. Just gonna mix it in there carefully, as instructed. Uh, one minor deviation is I'm going to use a whisk to try to break up some of these chunks of Cool Whip that won't melt. Okay, it's time to put it into this dish here. Go ahead and just 
dump it. Oh, oh boy, okay. Uh, as one of my favorite content creators said, this indeed looks like something that your dog would hack up on your rug after coming in after a hot day. Distribute all of the ingredients. Uh, this looks really bad. And to add insult to injury, we're going to go ahead and add uh, the topping of cheese. And this whole thing is going to chill in the refrigerator overnight. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, this is the Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. The next day it's been chilling in the fridge overnight and it looks absolutely not good. But we're gonna try it. Let's just get a piece of this out of here. Oh, I don't like the way that feels. Oh, Aunt Myrna. Aunt Myrna is an alcoholic. Alright. It won't come off the... Alright, look at that. Uh, Jim, this one's for you. That smells awful. It, it really smells awful. It smells like, um... Like nacho... Like nacho cheese dip. But like sickly sweet. So we're gonna try... Okay. Okay. It's... I would have no desire to have this again. I would have no desire to ever eat it again. There are some things I would take out of it. Uh, probably not the cheese on top. But, it's actually... I'll, I'll try another bite just in case. But it's actually not like... Bought like the most vile thing for tasting. It's not good though. It's definitely not good. It's just. It's not. <laughs> it's not good. That's it. It's, it's not, like, horrendous, it's just, like, it's not like, as soon as it touches my mouth, I want to spit it out, but, I guess the question is why? Like, why put all these different things in this? You don't need that. Like, the pineapple, the Cool Whip, the cream cheese, like, all that stuff could be good together, I suppose. But just some of the other stuff, like the nuts would be good maybe, but like some of the other stuff in there, like the celery, the green pepper, I don't know, just, just why? Like what, what purpose is there? So that's my question, I guess. It's not the worst thing I've ever tasted, but why? You know, I, I bet, I bet the origin of this recipe, I bet it is like in some cookbook, the pages got stuck together. And it's actually like a pineapple dessert, and somehow that page got stuck to like a page talking about ingredients for an omelet or something. Because that's what it's like. It's like a combination of dessert and an omelet. Um, that's what I bet the origin of this dish is. <laughs>